Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. In a major boost to India's intelligence helicopter, HAL Dhruv has received restricted type certification on 4th July from European Union Aviation Safety Agency or EASA in Belgium. Since 2003, EASA is responsible for certification of aircraft in the European Union and for some European non-EU countries. This certificate testifies that the type of aircraft meets the safety requirement set by the European Union. Now, before any newly developed aircraft model enters into the operations in Europe, it must obtain a type certificate from EASA. It is a four-step process. The aircraft manufacturer presents the project to EASA when it is considered to have reached a sufficient degree of maturity. The EASA certification team and a set of rules that will apply for certification of this specific aircraft type are then being established. EASA and manufacturer need to define and agree on the means to demonstrate the compliance of the aircraft type with each requirement of certification basis. This goes hand in hand with the identification of EASA's level of involvement during the certification process. The aircraft manufacturer then must demonstrate compliance of its products with regulatory requirements which includes structure, engine, control system, electrical systems and flight performance which are analyzed against the certification basis. This compliance demonstration is done by analysis during ground and flight testing. This is the longest phase of type certification process. In the case of large aircraft, the period to complete the compliance demonstration is set at five years and may be extended if necessary. The last step is technical closure and the issue of approval. If technically satisfied with compliance demonstration by the manufacturer, EASA closes the investigation and issues the type certificate. The EASA certification earned by HL for ALS Thruv establishes the fact that HL is capable of designing helicopter platforms that meet the stringent European certification requirements. The Indian Army, Air Force, Navy and Coast Guard operate more than 330 LH. The safety record of LH came under scrutiny after a string of accidents earlier this year. The Bengaluru-based Center for Military Airworthiness and Certification, Similac, which is under DRDO, has reached the conclusion that the design review of the booster control rods is mandatory after an expert committee formed in the backdrop of Navy LH incident on March 8 and explored the possible failures that led to the incident. These rods allow pilots to control the helicopter's motions and any failure can severely affect the power input to the rotor blades and cause accidents. The March 8 incident was a technical failure, an error in the assembly of serrated washers in the booster control rods. Similac has recommended short and long-term measures to enhance the safety of LH. On 23rd April, Similac wrote a letter to three services and the Coast Guard that the design, development and qualification of the steel booster control rods that are tolerant to assembly errors shall be expedited and the compliance of the new design shall be aimed for implementation in six months to one year. Similac has prescribed measures for resumption of operation of the ALH, Rudra and the light combat helicopter LCH. As per Similac, the clearance of these platforms limited to 100 flight hours each would be given after mandatory inspection. Further clearance for up to 500 flight hours or one year, year whichever is earlier would be based on the successful completion of two critical tests by HAL. These tests will involve the flight testing of two helicopters with instrumented control rods assembly for verifying the multi-axis loads on the control rods and the fatigue testing of the rods with correctly assembled serrated washers to confirm their original capability. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, 
Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.